Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. This is the third video of lecture 2. The last video for lecture 2 and also the last video for subtopic 2.2, quantum mechanics. In previous video, I have introduced you to the four quantum numbers which are N, principal quantum number, L, angular momentum quantum number, M, magnetic quantum number and S, electron spin quantum number. Now, I want to focus on the relationship between the four quantum numbers. Let's take a look at this table for example. For n equals to 1 or for shell number 1, the value of L or the subshell is only 0. So the subshell notation is 1s and the value of n, the orientation for the subshell, sub, for the subshell L0 is only 0. So we have only one orbital for shell number 1 which is 1s and the number of electron that accommodate in L equals to 0 or 1s orbital is 2. So 2 is referred to the one electron that move in positive half or clockwise motion and the other electron move in negative half or anti-clockwise motion. For n equals to 2, we have two value of L which is L equals to 0. The subset notation is 2s and there is only one m value which is m equals to 0 and the number of electron that occupy 2s orbital is also 2. So for L equals to 1, which is 2p orbital, it has 3m value, which is from negative 1, 0, and positive 1. And each orbital also can occupy 2 maximum number of electron. So let's say n equals to 2 and L equals to 1. So the subset is 2p. For the m value, since the value of L is equals to 1, so the m value is from negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So we have 3 orbital. So this 3 orbital is called as 3 degenerate orbital. So degenerate orbital means orbital that has equivalent energy. So if we use this formula, 2L plus 1, since L equals to 1, so that means 2 times 1 plus 1, we also have 3 orbitals which regards to subshell 2p. So the maximum number of electron in 2p orbital is 3 times 2 electron since each orbital can hold up a maximum of 2 electron. So the total number of electron in 2p orbital is 6 electron. So for the number of electron in subshell, so each atomic orbital can only accommodate a maximum of 2 electrons. So that means for S subshell, it can, it can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. For P subshell, it can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. And for D subshell, it can hold a maximum of 10 electrons. So now, how to calculate the number of electrons in N energy level? or the number of electrons in a particular shell. So the number of electrons in a particular energy level N is given by the expression 2N square. So for example, at N equals to 1 or shell number 1, the maximum number is 2 because 2 times 1 power of 2 is 2. So at shell number 2, the maximum number of electrons is 8 and at N equals to 3 or shell number 3, the maximum number of electron is 36. So let's use this diagram to further understand the relationship between the N, L, M and S. So for example, we have shell number 2, which is N equals to 2. So the only value of L is 0 and 1. So where do we get this value? This is because when N equals to 2, the only value of L is from 0 until N minus 1. So that's why we have 2L value which is 0 and 1. So for the M value, when L equals to 0, the only value of M is 0. Because formula to figure out the value of M is from negative L to positive L. So if L equals to 0, the value of M is 0. And when the value of L is equals to 1, then we have 3m value which is from negative 1, 0 and positive 1. So for each orbital, 
it can hold a maximum of two electron, which which one electron move in positive half clockwise motion, and the other electron move in negative half or anti clockwise motion. So for m equals to negative one, it can hold up a maximum of two electron. For m equals to zero, it can also hold a maximum of two electron. And for m equals to positive one, it can also hold a maximum of two electron. So now let's complete the table. For example, if we have shell K, which is n equals to one, so the L value, L value must be lower than the number of shell, which is if n equals to one, the only value of L is zero. So the orbital notation or subshell notation is one S. So the value of M is from negative L to positive L. So when L equals to zero, so the value of M is also zero. So the number of degenerate orbital is one. That means that we have only one subshell in shell number one, which is only one s. So when n equals to two, so the value of l is zero and one, which is lower than n value. So the orbital notation for l zero is two s, and l equals to one is two p. So the m value for two s orbital is zero. For the m value for 2p orbital is negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So for 2s, we have only 1 degenerate orbital. And for orbital 2p, we have 3 degenerate orbital. For n equals to 3, so the only value of l is 0, 1, and 2. So for l equals to 0, it is 3s orbital n equals to l equals to 1 it is 3p orbital and for n equals to 2 it is 3d orbital so for m value for 2s we have only zero value okay for l equals to 1 for 3p orbital we only have negative 1 0 and positive 1 and for 3d orbital we have a value of negative 2 negative 1 0 positive 1 and positive 2 so 3s orbital we only have 1 degenerate orbital for 3p orbital we have 3 and for 3d orbital we have 5 degenerate orbitals so let's take a look at this example so state whether or not each of the following symbols is acceptable designation for atomic orbitals so explain the unacceptable symbols for example 2d so 2d means the n is equals to 2. The number at the, at the front shows you the number of shell. So 2d means n equals to 2. And d is when l equals to 2. So it is unacceptable because when n equals to 2, the allowed value of l is only 0 and 1. So the l value must be lower than the n value. So this designation is unacceptable. What about 3p? So 3p, n equals to 3, and p orbital means l equals to 1. So this is acceptable, okay, because when n equals to 3, the only value of l is 0, 1, and 2. So what about the 7s? So 7s means n equals to 7, and S means L equals to 0. So this is also acceptable because the value of L is lower than value of N. Let's go through another example. Okay, number one, explain why the following sets of quantum numbers are unacceptable in an atom. So for example, A, given N equals to 2, L equals to 1, m equals to negative 1 and s equals to 1. So it is not allowed because the allowed value of s are either positive half or negative half only. So therefore, s equals to 1 is not acceptable. So b, given n equals to 3, l equals to negative 1, m equals to 2 and s equals to positive half. So Let's focus on L equals to 1. So this is not acceptable 
because when n equals to 3, the allowed value of L are only 0, 1, and 2. So therefore, L equals to negative 1 is not acceptable. So in addition, L does not have a negative integer or negative value. So to give the values of L and M for orbitals 3p and 4d. So for 3p, p is when L equals to 1. So when L equals to 1, the value of M must start from negative 1, 0 and positive 1. So for 3, sorry, so for 4D, so D is when L equals to 2, so the only allowed value of M is from negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. So let's do this activity together. So write the orbitals in terms of S, P, D, and F notation, which are represented by the following quantum numbers. So number 1, Roman, given N equals to 2, L equals to 0. So the orbital terms is, so N equals to 2, that means 2. And L equals to 0, it refers to S orbital. So the orbital here is 2S. Number 2, Roman. So given N equals to 3, L equals to 2. So N equals to 3 means it's in the shell number 3. And L equals to 2, it means the subshell D. So it is a 3D orbital. So number 3 Roman, when N equals to 5, L equals to 1. So N equals to 5, that means shells number 5. L equals to 5, sorry, L equals to 1. It is P orbital. So the orbital terms is 5P orbital. And the other activity, which of the following quantum numbers are allowed? And explain your answer. Let's take a look at A. So given N equals to 1, L equals to 1, M equals to 0, and S equals to negative half. So we have to do the, we have to do this in sequence. So when N equals to 1, the only allowed value is 0. So L equals to 1 here is not allowed. Okay, it's because when N equals to 1, the only L value is L equals to 0. So L number must be lower than N value. So B, when N equals to 3, L equals to 1, M equals to negative 2, S equals to positive half. So follow the sequence. So N equals to 3, the allowed value for L is 0, 1, and 2. So L equals to 1 is allowed. But for the M value, so when L equals to 1, the only allowed value of M is only from negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So M equals to negative 2 is not allowed when L equals to 1. So C, given N equals to 2, L equals to 1, M equals to 0, and S equals to positive half. So this orbital is allowed. Since the L value is lower than N is lower than N value and M equals to 0 is allowed when L is equals to 1. So D. So when N equals to 2, L is equals to 0, M also equals to 0, and S equals to positive sorry, positive 1. So this is also not allowed because the only S value is either positive half or negative. Okay, so the final part of topic 2.2 is set of quantum number. So set of quantum number is actually used to determine the location of electron in an atom or is used as a complete set of address to locate the electron in an atom. So the set of quantum number is actually a set that consists of four quantum numbers written in a bracket which is starting from N, L, M and S. For example, so to write a set of quantum numbers for n electron in 4s orbital, so n is equals to 4. So s orbital mean l equals to 0. So the m value is 0 and s is either positive half or negative half. 
So this is what we call a set of quantum number. So, for example, four quantum numbers of a 2s orbital are, so 2 means n equals to 2, s orbital means when l equals to 0. So when l equals to 0, m will only have 0 value. And s is either positive half or negative half. So the set of quantum numbers for an electron in 2s orbital is either n equals to 2, l equals to 0, m equals to 0, s equals to positive half. So this is one full set of quantum numbers or it can be n equals to 2, l equals to 0, m equals to 0, and s equals to negative half. Okay, so in conclusion, so we have learned about the four quantum numbers, which are principal quantum numbers with a symbol of n. So n represents the energy or size of an orbital with the value starting from n1 to n3 up until n equals to infinity. The second one is azimuthal quantum number with the symbol of L. So L represents the shape of the orbital. So the L value must be starting from 0, 1, 2 up until n equals to 1. So the third quantum number is magnetic quantum number which is M. So M defines the orientation of the orbital. So the, L, the M value must be from negative L, 0 up to positive L. And the last quantum number is spin quantum number, which is with the symbol of S. S defines the direction of an electron rotation on its own axis. And the S value is either the electron move in clockwise motion, positive half, or move in anti clockwise negative half. So, in the next video, we will continue with Lecture 3.